Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is, I think, the 734th It's part three. Okay, part three. I mean, it's been a long time we've been doing this, like for weeks. Uh, welcome back to part three of our fiber laser training unboxing series. What laser are we unboxing? The 60 watt MOPA fiber laser. 60 watt MOPA fiber laser. Yep. So we kind of got everything hooked up uh, for the most part. We don't have any hardware, but there's still a lot to do before I even hook up power to this bad boy. Yep. Um, so what we were talking about before, like a little bit in the last video at the end, about these. Screw them on left and right, front and back. And I'll show you what they mean because yeah. I can reach it. So if these are loose here, then your laser can slide forward and it can slide back and it can slide left and it can slide right and it can even go at a diagonal if you'd like. Um, probably not ideal because yeah, most everything that. that you do in work holding would need to be square to the laser head. Um, mm -hmm. So one thing I want to touch on in this area right now is this guy right here, the base does not have to be level. This being level is not important. What's important is the head of the laser and the base are 100% parallel to one another. So imagine that this was our laser head and this was our laser base. We would want them just like that at any distance from one another. So we can't have it like this and we can't have it like this or we can't have it like this or this or any variation of it has to be just like a set of train tracks. They have to be perfectly parallel. So as you can see, it doesn't matter if this thing is not level. I mean, if it was sitting up like this, it's definitely cattywampus and a pencil would roll off of this table, but that's okay. What does cattywampus mean? Cattywampus means all out of whack, I think. I'm not sure, that's a Cameron Fisher term. He taught me that many years ago, building a porch. He's like, that thing's gonna look cattywampus if we don't do <laughs> this or that or whatever it was that we were doing. So. Uh, he's a very important man in my life. He taught me that you only finish up as good as you start. And that is very much true in almost anything that you do. So take those words and run with them, because I did. I don't really want to run like that. Well, you don't have to run with them right now. So, but we want to be parallel, 100% parallel. The easiest way to do that that I've found is with a tool called a digital angle gauge. And I'll show you guys. And these are very important in all kinds of facets of the laser world. But most people use like bullet levels and you know, just regular levels, a whole big four foot level. In any event, those aren't entirely accurate. So at this rate we're going out now, like I said, this really doesn't matter, but we're gonna take it out of there because I doubt very seriously you're gonna have it all jacked up. But if it's a little bit off, you don't really have to worry about the level of the base. So what we would wanna do is we wanna turn our digital angle gauge on and let it zero out. And so we zero it. And now when we zero it, we take it and put it up on the laser head. And I'm gonna have to come around here to where we can see. Can and see? as you can see that right now, the laser is pretty good. It's within uh, one tenth of a degree. And so that's pretty good. Well, actually there's level is there we go. Yeah. And so it's telling me that this side needs to go down, which means this side needs to come up, which means that now we can take our handy dandy shims. That's right, handy dandy shims. And now you could start shimming the laser. There you go. And you would shim it here on this side. Now, obviously, nothing's tightened down. Oh, sorry. And you can do this really nice and neat where these things aren't going to stick out. And so now that we've, let's check it. Oh, well, there you go. Zippy, boom, bang. Bob's your uncle. So now, zero on the head. <laughs> you like that, huh? Zippy, bang, boom, Zero Bob. on the base Bob. is now zero on the head. Oh, there we and go. And so now we would want to take our reading from this side, right? And so we're a little bit off, so we'll zero it out. Well, if it'll cooperate with me. And so now we would carry that up 
and stick it on the top of the laser head there and check it out. And as you can see, we're a good bit out. It says that the front of it needs to go up or the back needs to go down. And if you have this digital angle gauge, you'll see this little arrow over here. That's what I'm referencing. It's in the top right corner. Probably pretty hard to see right now, but it's pointing down. So meaning that if I push up on the front, then now it's telling me the back needs to go up. So what have you, same thing handy dandy shims and being that it took two on the side for point one would probably be in good shape to just throw two on the front on for the point one and we might have got worse uh it's holding well there you go so that's a a pretty and that was a very fast i would probably do it you know a little better obviously these guys right here I'm seeing how thin they are. Uh, I believe they're like 0.2 millimeters, so 10 of them would make one millimeter. I believe that's how thick these are. But in any event, you see now we have zero on the base. Well, we did have zero on the base. I'm going to try it again. Zeroed out. And we still need to go up a little bit in the front. So we'll go up by 0.1 again. And there you go. So now it's zero. So now I'm pretty satisfied with the head being train tracks parallel with the base. And truly, you could turn this thing on its side now, and as long as you could hold it on the work holding table, it would laser it just like it would. So that was really today's video was to show you about this, the shims, how to line everything up and get it level with the base. Sometimes that this isn't enough. Uh, sometimes you can put shims up underneath the tower here. You could, you know, loosen these on the side or loosen them on the back and in the front, what have you, and go ahead and slide you a few shims under there if you need to. And you can use anything you have for shims. You know, yep. brass shim stock or what? You Whatever. like saying it. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, it's a joke. that's what they really are, yeah, sure. shims. So, uh, in any event, our, our next video, I think we're going to try to hook this bad boy up to a computer and oh, see yeah. what we got. And that way we can uh, square it. Now that we are nice and level, then we need to square it to our base. And if you guys want to do this with us, uh, get yourself some tape, get yourself a permanent marker, and get yourself a speed square or a framing square of some kind or just some nice straight edge and what what was you gonna say Dad, can we laser kids with this one no we cannot laser kids with this one either because they won't hold still long enough i don't know i tried to laser him he's just squirming all over the place so wait don't you have like 10 kids though and you didn't try to laser me this time mm, no maybe not this time but anyway thanks guys for watching uh, you know what time it is. It's our favorite part. It's time for dad jokes. Yeah. Man, this is getting old. No, it's not. It's my it's favorite part. Yes, yeah, my favorite part, too. And we say it a lot. That's but right. That's good. Well, dad jokes. Without further ado, dad jokes. Dad jokes, hmm? Am I right? Yeah. Like, period. Period. That's what your sister's been saying all the time. Period. Speaking of sisters, your little brother called. He, he desperately wants a shirt back. <laughs> he's, he's been missing it. All right. All right. Never mind. Okay. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Theodore. Theodore who? Theodore was not open, so I had a knock. <laughs> Theodore <laughs> was not open. <laughs> That's good. People are not going to watch us anymore. These dad jokes are terrible. Well, that's what dad jokes are, right? Terrible. Yeah. So, uh, thanks again for watching today, guys. We should be finishing up the series. Maybe the next video, potentially, we might have one more after that because I talk a lot. Right? Yeah, I talk I a talk. lot. We do talk a lot. But we'll try to bring it all in in our next video. Hopefully be able to... Uh, answer the questions that you've had thus point and continue to make you guys ask more questions so i really appreciate all the support you've given us and 
The coupon code is still active, right? Mm-hmm. Still active. And they can still go and download the coin for free off of our website. Yep. Laserableitems.com. So, uh, or fiberlasertraining.com. Or fiberlasertraining.com. You can go there and book you guys one-on-one -on -one sessions so you get my 100% attention for the problems in which that you need solved. And then Noah be in the background going, hey. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time in Fiber Laser Training okay. World. Yeah. Yeah. Fiber laser train. Oh, dot com. That's what you're about yeah. to say. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Enjoy your evening.